find the triangle with maximum area. A right triangle ABC has hypotenuse C of 9 cm. Trigonometric ratios for angle A in four different cases is given to you. Determine which one of these will have the maximum area. So what you are given is a right triangle. Let us say this is your right triangle. And in this triangle, side C is equal to 9 centimeter. So that becomes C for you. Let us say this is A and that is P. Now there could be many different cases. So first case is secant A is 2.1034. Then we have another triangle whose hypotenuse is 9 centimeters, but cos of A is 0.8215 and the third one has sine of A as 0.7313 and the fourth one has cosecant A equals to 1.1547. Question before you is to decide which one of these four triangles will have maximum area and why. So you can pause the video, do your calculations, select the answer and then look into my suggestion. You should know that in a right triangle, triangle with maximum area should be with angle A equals to 45 degrees. So a right angle triangle with angle A equals to 45 degrees will actually give you the maximum area. Now in our case, we need to find angle A for all different triangles and see which one has an angle which is closest to 45 degrees. So that particular triangle will be having the maximum area. So that is the strategy with which you can work. So you can again pause the video, work on this strategy, find the angle A and then figure out which triangle has the maximum area. Well, there is, of course, an alternate way of doing it. That is, you can find angle A, and once you find angle A, you can find these two sides, and area is half base into height. Calculate area for each, but that is going to take a lot of time. In a multiple choice question like this, especially in competitive examinations, it is good to apply this strategy and find your answer. I hope that helps. Okay, now how to find angle A when you are given secant A? Now secant A is 1 over cos A, right? So we can say from here cos A is equals to 1 divided by 2.1034 and therefore angle A will be equals to cos inverse of this number 1 divided by 2.1034. You can find this answer and get the value of A. Now for cos A and sin A is very simple. In this case, you know, angle A is equals to cos inverse of 0.8215. You can use your calculator, find this answer. And here, you know, angle A is equal to sin inverse of 0.7313. The last case is cosecant A. Now cosecant A is reciprocal of sine, right? So here we can find what sine A is. Cos is 1 over cosecant A, which is 1.1547. And then you can calculate the value of angle A as sine inverse of 1 over 1.154. I recommend you to use your calculator, find all angles and get your answer. Well, from my judgment, I can tell you that sine A equals to 0.7313 should be the answer. Since this is closest to sine of 45, right? So, as you know, 45 degrees triangle is the one in which The sides are in the ratio of 
1 1 square root 2 correct so sin a or cosine a for this triangle even cosine a is equal to sine a I'm saying a equals to 45 degrees 1 over square root 2 right which is 0 0.714 correct approximately like that so this seems to be closest to 0.7 right and therefore angle A will be closest to 45 degrees and that becomes our answer. So I hope it helps right. Now square root of 2 these are reciprocal of your trigonometric ratios so you are expecting those values to be closer to square root of 2 but these values are far away from those values correct. Therefore we can see from judgment that the best choice should be sin a equals to 0.73 c is the best answer do you get the point so there are so many ways to do it one which will take a lot of time is to calculate area for each of these four cases right second is to really find the angles and then compare which one is the closest to 45 degrees and the third which i applied was you know the special triangle for 45 degrees closest value you can select and get the answer so that is how you can solve this question i'm anil kumar and i hope you like this strategy you can subscribe to my videos and look into similar thinking problems thank you and all the best